hoodwinked, bamboozled, or totally fooled, honestly. Greetings, welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. This is a YouTube channel dedicated to smartwatches and on the web at smartwatchticks.com. And one of these watches is an imposter. Well, I think you can kind of see already something's glowing a little bit differently, huh? Three of these are AMOLEDs, and a third one, a fourth one, is an IPS. That's right. You'll find out about that, too, in a moment. Why am I here? Because we got fooled together. Nothing was said in the product literature. Nothing was identified letting us know that for the first time ever, a smartwatch is on the market that has a screen that's viewable in the direct sunlight outside. I have the sun right here. I'm serious. It's the sun. I'm going to show you what I mean. Here's a typical AMOLED watch. Can barely read it in the sunlight. Here's another one. This is the Thor 1, the Thor 2, or otherwise known as the Thor S. Over here is the Thor 4, right? Look what happens on this one. Where? Wait, it's not washing out. Look at that. It's totally visible. I'm not kidding. This is an AMOLED screen replacement called an IPS. What the heck is an IPS? Let me show you because it gets technical. It stands for in-plane switching. I know you don't want to get technical, but some of you do. It has to do with... TFT, LCDs, liquid crystal uh, technology, and the in-plane switching somehow makes this whole thing work in a way that we actually have kind of like two screens going on. It's sort of like how your rods and your cones work in your eyes, but sort of like backwards. You know how your rods let you see black and white at night when there's not much brightness, and your cones give you color? Well, this is the opposite. When it's dark, you get color. When it's really bright, you get black and white. You can kind of get in between. You see that? You've got a little bit of change between color and black and white. Maybe it'll help if I brighten the screen a little. I have it purposely set down for a reason that I'll tell you about in a moment. But I want to find, so I don't have to use the Google Activate word, I can use voice search and say... Increase brightness. Okay, it's brighter. Oh, ho! your watch doesn't do that, you say? It can. What you got to do is go in to uh, Google Play Store and hunt for Google Play Store and update it. After you update Google Play Store, it's going to ask you if you want to update Google Play services. Do that. When you do you'll have the interface with your OK, you know, activation code Google, or using voice search to do simple things like increase brightness. Come on, come on. Okay, it's brighter. Good, did it again. Can I take it all the way up from here? Yeah, now it's really bright. It's so bright it's washed out there, right? That's okay, because I want to show you the really bright screen. And if you take this outdoors, it doesn't wash out quite as badly. You see, you still have your color. What can you do with this? What can you do with this? Everything. Your entire app drawer is totally usable in the sunlight now. As you saw, your watch face is usable. Everything else you can get to. Your music player, you've got your contacts, you've got notifications. Um, you've got all these screens where you can turn on and off all your different things. Indoors, outdoors, it doesn't matter. No, that doesn't work on here. Watch, when I go in here, it's washed out. Which one would you want to have outdoors? We're there, folks. Now, not only are we there, let me tell you a couple of more enhancements about this. Always on. That's the term I always heard when it came to a screen that was always on, was that it's always on. But not this one. This has got that type of technology in here that when it's off, it's off. It's totally saving power. I don't really need my watch to be on all the time, but I would like it when I twist my wrist and I'm outside. I could see the time easily and then it would go off. This has got the blend 
of always visible technology with your standard operating on and off modes that you get in an Android watch. Therefore, you're going to get the longest battery power that you can get having a screen that will turn on and off at will, but when it's on, it's always viewable indoors or outdoors. Because of that, see, this is all color rich and really vibrant and using a lot of battery power. If I dim this sucker down to be the lowest uh, level brightness possible, it doesn't affect the outdoor. The outdoor will always be the same reflective brightness. It doesn't change. The only thing that's changing is the amount of the color you see, which is coming from the light from below. So if you really want to run this right and your outdoors are in a bright office, run the battery, I mean, set the brightness to the absolute minimum and see your watch mostly in black and white with some light hues of color, but absolutely see it, use it, and it's totally visible. Perfect. Wow. So of all of these, it's the, uh, I don't need the sun for that now, we're back indoors. It's the Thor Pro. The Thor Pro is the special one that has this IPS display. Now it says it right here in the description from Banggood. Check the show notes down below. I think I just saw it was $88 and change. 88 bucks for a full Android watch. And oh, did I mention, did I mention that on this one? I think we did already, but in case you missed the uh, full review, contacts, phone, Bluetooth call. You have full Bluetooth calling capability when you're tethered to your phone. You can make and receive phone calls right from your watch using Bluetooth, as well as your contacts and phone from your SIM card, if you put a SIM card in it, making this a true dual mode Android smartwatch, always visible screen Wow, 1.53 inch diameter. This is, uh, this is so far, of all the watches out there, now my absolute favorite for everything that it can do. Really cool. So it mentions IPS here. Now I want you guys to go over this one more time. Here's the, the spec sheet we showed you in the full review. Look what it has in here for screen. It's got a screen size, resolution, by the way, it's 320 by 320 pixel, which for me is kind of the sweet spot. 400 by 400 is a whole lot of pixels on a watch. Um, I don't need that fine a detail, but 320 by 320, I'm not using a whole lot of extra electricity from the battery to keep all those pixels dancing. So anyway, there's the specs, and here's the actual write-up. We showed you this too with all the different features. But again, the only mention in the, in the uh, screen technology is that it's an IPS. Like we're supposed to know that means it's always uh, bright in indoors or outdoors. Well, we didn't, I didn't, and it took a, a viewer to come in and say, how come my watch is the colors are washed out outdoors? Well, it's because <laughs> there's two different screens going on here. Really, there are. There's this transflective or transreflective uh, or memory LCD or uh, IPS, however you want to refer to it, thing happening in the background that's reflecting the light in a way that you can read it. And then there's also the illuminated pixels from the light coming in from below that lights it up. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the ability for the screen to go off, giving you extended battery life by not always powering it. And it works great. Battery life, I know. I don't ever tell you battery life because I don't really have a chance to test it, but I did on this one. You ready? Using it lightly with that twist to light it up and, and, and turn it off. With the screen all the way down in brightness. With my cellular turned on, my Wi-Fi turned off, this thing all the way down on low, like that. Uh, I won't go through it, but I had it all set up. Oh, that's because it's in airplane mode right now. That's why the, uh, the cellular's off. But I had cellular on, locations off, uh, Wi-Fi off, screen dim, 10% per hour. Yep, after nine hours, I was down to 10%. I could squeeze two more hours out of it in very low battery reserve mode just showing the time before it totally, totally died. And in recharging, it took 
right around two hours to go fully charged. About an hour and a half into it, I was 70, 75%. An hour into it, I was 50%. So it's pretty much linear in, um, in charging and linear in discharging. And light use, I could get nine hours. My next test, what I want to do is what I've got it set for now, 30 minutes. I want to have it in low screen. I want to have it go off after 30 minutes. That's the maximum I can put it on. And just use it lightly like before and see if with just a tiny bit of light glowing on the screen. And remember, the screen is always the same brightness for the reflectivity. That never changes. See that version? versus i'm going to go high now and come back that didn't change a little bit more color is obvious that's the only difference but i'm going to go with low on a normal way that i wear this watch and just leave it like that on any of my watch faces they all show up beautifully analog digital you name it they're going to be there wow i even see the subtle ones the subtle numbers that you can't normally see i can see those in the outdoor light very nice very very nice oh here's a nice bright one let's look at that one outdoors check that out and because we're not dealing with amo led and a lot of um, a, a pixel uh energy going into the bright pixels like you do on a standard amoled screen like these um, this reflective technology should be the same whether it's um, bright or dark. So you can choose your favorite watch face and see it clearly outside. You have been watching Smart Watch Ticks. You knew that was coming, didn't you? And you have the opportunity to pick up the Thor Pro IPS Always Visible, not always on, but always visible screened, one gigabyte, 16 gigabyte storage, Bluetooth calling, 1.53 inch, good sized uh, smartwatch. And wow, wow, it's my favorite now. That's, that's owning my left arm. We'll see you again real soon. Oh, one more thing from Z Blaze. Check out this little thing. Look at that screen. Full color, full reflectivity, fully bright in normal light with a backlight and a whole different kind of screen technology that uses the full color richness. Notice it's not fading out when we put it under sunlight. It's staying color rich. This is in their latest fitness band called the Plug C to re be reviewed next. And it's a future screen technology that we might start seeing show up as these screens grow. Wow.